So in this program now, what I want to do is I want to first write a program, write a method which will check whether if a number is prime or not. So I'll say public static boolean is prime. So I'll say int num. A simple logic. What we'll do? We'll try to divide this number uh, between two to up to that number. If it is divisible, then obviously it is not a prime number. Then what we can do? We can start with for int instead of for. Let me use while block. So what we can do? I'll write a for loop. First I'll say int i equal to zero. Then I'll say for i less than. So we'll start the i with two. That's what we have to divide, isn't it? i equal to two. Then I'll say i less than that num. Then i plus plus is it clear. Now what I'll do if num mod i if it is equal to zero. Okay, I'll simply return false. Makes sense. If this loop is executed successfully, that means that the num whatever we got as an input obviously is a prime number. We'll simply return true in this case. Makes sense. Is it clear? So what is a prime number? A number which is divisible by one and itself only. A number which is divisible by one and itself only. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to divide that number between two to up to that number, not by that number itself. If it is divisible, then it is is not a prime number. So I'll return false. If this loop is executed successfully, then obviously it is an what prime number. So I'll return true. In fact, we want to divide this from two to up to that number. Even num divided by two will do. If you divide, if it is not divisible by what half of that size, whatever is there, then also it can be called as prime number. So this is for reducing the a number of iterations. So now we have a method to check if a number is prime or not. Let's call this method and check whether it is working as we expected or not. Let's say 10. I'll straight away what I will do. I will print it inside a. So straight away what I will do. I will simply pass the output as input to println. So 10 is not a prime number. So I should get the output as false for 11 true. For 12 false and for 13 true. So let's compile and execute. So let's compile and execute. Oh, sorry, I made a small mistake here. So now that I have this method, I want to go ahead and Now that I have a method to check if a number is prime or not, I want to go ahead and check whether my method is behaving as expected or not. So I'll go to my this class that is arrays and methods which has a main method. Here I will say calculator dot is prime and I'll say 10. So I should get the output as false for this. And for 11 I should get the output as true. And again for 9 I should get the output as false. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and compile this. So false, true, false. So we tested it with three uh, different numbers and we got the output. Okay, it's pretty much the method is behaving as expected. Now what I want to do is I want to create a method which generates the prime numbers between from and to or from to two. Is it clear? So how do we do that? Same as like we have done for even numbers. We go ahead with the same logic. Static int generate 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 prime numbers int from int to so like we have done earlier we'll create a what loop before we create a loop we have to create an array to hold the value int array equal to new int so what should be the size like even numbers can we say 2 minus from divided by 2 plus 1 like that. See, there is some problem here. You have to understand. 
from 1 to 100 the number of prime members are different from 100 to 200 again 200 to 300 or from one range to another range the number of prime members will be different so we cannot come up with an what precise logic to what enter the size of the array here so what i'll do i will say obviously it will be less than you know divided by 2 i'll simply say 2 minus from divided by 2 and what happens in this case some of the memory gets wasted some of the memory you know the arrays some of the position gets filled with zero so it's all right now i'll start the for loop int i equal to from where obviously you have to start with from then go up to to i less than or equal to 2 then i'll say i plus plus now if See, I already written the logic here to check if a number is prime or not. This is the advantage of using the method. We can call the method as and when we need it. So instead of writing this whole logic again, I'll simply call the method which has that logic. So since we already written the logic in this method, why don't we just call it? We don't need to rewrite this whole logic, isn't it? So what I'll do, I will send the i as input to this method. If, it, if this method, so what I will do, I will send this i as input to this method. If this method returns true, only then I'll store that number in the so if this method returns true only then I will store that number in the array so I need another index variable isn't it like we have done before int index equal to 0 will say and here I will say array of index I'll say plus plus here itself since it is post increment for zero position value gets stored then it will increment equal to i so that is i goes as an input if it is true that is a prime number then we store it to array if not then it will never come to if block when this whole loop is executed from to two this array will be filled with all the prime numbers so i'll return array so let's call this method generate prime numbers so let's call this method generate prime numbers since this method returns an array so we need an array so let's make it more simple i already have that code here i will say make sense so we'll uncomment this we'll uncomment this and we'll remove this and let's compile let's see oh from to 2 10 to let's say 20 let's see how many even num so 10 to 20 let's see how many prime numbers are there between 10 to 20 java c good enough see we created a size like that and some of the memory is getting wasted we can't help with that maybe if you spend some time you would come up with a very clever logic where no memory gets wasted at all if one is when we are getting the zero at one location is getting zero it's all right let's say 100 to 200 how many prime numbers are there so these are the prime numbers are there but so much of memory getting wasted maybe if you think of a better logic please report to me i'll update this tutorial and i will add an credit to you fine thank you